I've been slightly obsessed with source shapes in OBS Studio, mostly camera shapes. I have a bunch of videos on how to make, you know, rounded rectangle camera overlays or circular camera overlays, all that stuff. But the thing is, for that technique, what I usually use is a filter. A filter with a black and white image that will dictate uh, what will show and what will hide. So you right click filters and then you pick image blend, image mask blend. You load up that image. So if it's a black background with a white circle, your camera shape is going to be a circle. Easy clap right i think camera overlays are cool but you know i'm kind of tired of just a rectangle border if it has like extra shapes where it cuts into your actual footage it makes it a little bit more spicy but there's one thing there's one code that i couldn't crack and that code is how do i make it animated because those filters the filter image mask blend it's only images that you can load up you can't load up like a video so animated masks weren't a thing as far as I know. But what if I want to play with the transparency of my labels in a dynamic way? Anyways, in this video, I want to show you what I came up with while I was making the overlays for Prof Mid Valley. So I already gave you a little tease of that. Now, one thing is for sure is that I'm going to have OBS Studio aficionados tell me that there's a plugin that exists that does the exact same thing. And if that's the case, please tell me because I don't know about any. So off to the comments you go. <laughs> So basically what I came up with does not require any plugins, so anyone can do it. And on top of that, you can do it on any broadcasting software, not just OBS Studio. You can do it on Streamlabs OBS, you can probably do it in maybe not Twitch Studio. <laughs> All right, before we start, a quick message from our sponsor and then we can get right into it. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned Pro. Owned Pro is an online service and software created for streamers and designed to jumpstart your streaming career giving you access to overlays, alerts, and other tools for live streamers. OwnPro is currently available in over nine languages, and that includes overlays and alerts, meaning that non-English speaker streamers can easily get started with their customized experience. OwnPro will also give you access to a Twitch chatbot that will moderate your chat and help you run giveaways. They also help you take a good look at your statistics, give you free panels, and even provide copyright-free music. OwnPro is currently compatible with YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. OwnPro is constantly coming up with new features, but I'll let you check it out at own.gg slash getlevelpro. That is O-W-N-3-D.gg slash getlevelpro. Okay, so to show you the example, this is the overlay that I made for Prof Mid Valley, and the technique that I'm going to demonstrate also works for that specific kind of setup. Right here, we have the labels bar, and 30 seconds in, the labels bar will actually disappear with a little animation for the transition out. Just like that. And then I believe like 30 seconds or 15 seconds more and it's going to reappear. Also with a tiny animation, I think, if I didn't forget the animation. So basically you can say that this has an animated mask because right now it's completely transparent when it's not showing, okay? So let me go to labels and show you how I did it. So here we have the labels. At the bottom here, you will see the actual uh, icon animation that I made for him. And then those are just three text files, just like you would add your actual labels. So far so good if you've ever put your labels on OBS Studio, you know what this is, this is fine, okay? Now, here comes the surprise, the little thing that will make it disappear. It's going to be this layer right there. I'm gonna move it along, and then around the middle, it should make it disappear. How do I do this? It's not just a, a black layer, it's a transparent layer right now. The thing is, as you can see, I created the labels in a separate scene, and then I added this as a animated mask. So I did the motion design in Adobe After Effects. The thing is, this is a colored mask. I'm going to pause it here, okay? So right now the mask is covering everything, and I'm going to go to filters on the filters of the scene. And as you can see, there's a color key. So basically I have colored shapes covering everything, and then I just have to key it out and then add it to whatever scene that I want, right? So it's right there, but you can't see it, it's transparent because I'm keying it out. I added it as a sort, as, as a scene, sorry. <laughs> I added it as a scene. So if you press plus here, you go to scene, you can add whatever scene. Let me turn off the effect and you will see. Boom. This is what's going on. It's that simple. Let me go back to my labels, okay? Let me put it right before it happens and you will see the animation. I'm gonna click play, and here it is. So this is what, what I animated, and all I have to do then is just add it to a scene, right click on it, go to filters, add a color key, and in that color key, I pick red. 
Now here's the thing, for this application, it's easy. The reason why I picked red instead of green, for example, because you guys are used to green screening stuff, is that um, I had a little bit of green. I felt like my colors were a little too close to green in order to have, you know, a green color key. So I wanted to preserve those colors. Now, with that in mind, let's add a camera overlay. So I'm gonna go to my just chatting scene. I'm gonna click plus, I'm gonna click video capture device, I'm not gonna name it, and I'm gonna pick my actual camera. This one right there, hi, I'm back, it's me, get level. So in the past, if I wanted my camera overlay to have like some weird shape, I would right click on it, go to filters, add an effect filter, and then go to image mask blend. And then from there, click okay, I would add uh, like an image mask. For example, there's this one, right? Image mask and okay, cool. This is like a specific shape. But, but since it only accepts images, that's why I couldn't do that. So instead, let me delete this effect altogether. I don't need this at all. All I need is specific animations that will cover the parts that I want to cover. And I've made a couple of ones and I will make them available to you for free. Let me demonstrate. Let me show you its features. So you wouldn't want to add your camera directly to the scene that you want it in, right? Just chatting, don't add it there. You would create a new scene, right? Let me actually delete it here. So you would create a new scene just for the camera and the camera mask. Okay, so let's go back, add video capture, boom, you added your camera. And now you want to add a video file. Since it's gonna be animated, I created those as video files. They will be WebM files. Right now I have them as .mov. And no, I will not send you the .mov, don't even think about asking. Uh, media source, let's call this camera mask. Okay, so media source is where you can add uh, media, like videos, for example. And then here I have a couple of masks that I created. Okay, hopefully you guys like them. So let's go with something. So this one is called square to round. And what we're talking about here is actually sharp corners to rounded rectangles. I'm going to click loop because we want our media to, you know, be on a loop. And uh, this is what we have. So you're going to say, oh, that's just some green, right? Ooh, and now it changes shape. Are you with me? Are you following along right now? So it goes in a loop. So basically you can have an animation to, the, to your source, to your camera source. Now I did create an actual overlay that goes with it. So if you also want to have a border, so it's like a dynamic border on top of the shape, you can have that too. Go to media source and call it cam border. Boom, go find it. It's gonna be square to round camera overlay. Loop it, boom. And it's right here and it's not synced. <laughs> I should have thought of that. Actually, I didn't think about like the not being synced. No, I haven't tested it yet, but I knew it was going to work. What I'm going to do here is restart playback when source becomes active, right? So this is active for both of those. That means that they will start at the same time when I come back here. So I go to labels, I go back, boom, and they should work. They should be synced. Hey, okay, we're good. All right, now if I go to my just chatting scene or my gameplay scene, for example, if I wanted to be here, for example, I would just go. Actually, we should probably name this scene. Let's right click, rename, uh, and call it Cam, because it's our Cam. Isn't it cute? Let's go to game, uh, click plus to add a new source, find the scene, and it's the scene we just called Cam. Click OK, and there it is. So. We're gonna drag this down. We're gonna co cover my boy. Is that even gonna work? <laughs> like this, all right. And all we have to do now is add a green screen filter, otherwise known as chroma key. So right click on that scene that you just added, go to filters, press plus under the filter uh, uh, list and click chroma key. Click okay. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? And now my camera overlay is changing shape. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's do some more, all right? <laughs> let's get rid of the camera mask. Let's get rid of the camera border, sorry. And uh, let's delete that, boom, all right? And let's change the camera mask, for example. Now the filter is already applied, so everything that I add here that is already green, it's just gonna take shape. I don't need to do more. I'm gonna browse, and I'm gonna go with something called blob mask. And click open. Boom, it's looped, everything is good. And now it's different. It's a blob. So it's a circular camera overlay, well, camera shape, but it's moving. It's alive. It's a blob. Look at that. Look at that. So subtle animation, it catches the eye just a little bit. Someone will be like, is your, is your, is your camera shape moving? Is your camera source like animated? 
How do you do that? And you can tell them, Gal Level told me how to do that. Go to go to youtube.com slash Gal Level. Oh, it's actually Gal Level Gaming. Anyways, without further ado, without further ado, I can't speak. Without further ado, let's uh, test another one. Something called cards. And this one is, it's kind of juicy. It doesn't seem like much is happening, right? Until, ooh. And this happens every 10 seconds. It's not gonna be too distracting. Now here's the issue that you can actually see here. The issue is that if you have any green on screen, green screen, it's going to key it out. That key is really good, what the heck? <laughs> so if you're wearing a green t-shirt, it's not gonna work. But what can I do against that since you provided something that was green? Let me turn off the filter real quick. Okay, so this is what's going on here. This is the animation, right? What can I do against that? Well, the camera mask is separate right let me pause it right there the camera mask is completely separate so what you can do is right click on the camera mask add a filter go to plus and click color correction and then from there just play with the hue shift you want to wear your green t-shirt you can wear your green t-shirt no one is stopping you from wearing your green t-shirt just make it a color that's not gonna be on screen usually blue screens is the go-to to replace a green screen because those are the two colors that are the furthest away from skin tone this is why Hollywood uses blue or green. But since we're all gamers and we all have RGB stuff, I can understand if you wanna go with something else. Anyways, you get the point. Um, you can change the color on this and then do whatever you want. I'm going to uh, put the chroma key back, boom. And there you go, look at that, look at that, look at that. Plus play, wow, wow. Let me show you the rest. Okay, uh, camera mask, let me double click, switch it up. So that was the cards mask. There's also the rectangle uh, jelly mask. A rectangle jelly, let's click okay. And it's the same thing as the blob, but basically it's a rectangle, but it's a jelly rectangle, okay? So it's... If you still want to keep, you know, that, so that sort of uh, um, shape, you have access to that too. You can do it too. You can, of course, also set like the, um, the similarity when it comes to the green screen. So you can play around with this basically and make sure that you're not clipping too much. Remember, my, my arm was clipping. My arm was going... <laughs> Everything is good now. Everything is awesome. Just make sure you don't see any green. Right now, I, I'm like, I have a little bit of green clipping. We don't want that. And then there's one that I love called the data side. Get down to the data side. And which, well, I definitely need to play around with this one a little bit more, but this one is also transparent, by the way. You know, like everything that's black here, it's gonna be transparent. Um, and this is a good example that you absolutely have to play with these settings here. Boom that up a little bit more, but of course I run into issues. So just play around with it, play around with it. Spill, don't spill, a lot of spill, you decide. And actually, you know what? This is not too bad. Let's go back to our gameplay scene and see what it looks like. You see that? It's transparent. Behind me, there's stuff happening. This is not the best. I don't know, I don't, I don't like it anymore, but I'll still make it available for you for free. Uh, let's go back to cam here. And I believe I have an overlay for one of those two. And it was the jelly one. So rectangle jelly, let's go back to that. Okay, this is like a safe value. Rectangle jelly. And then let's add a new media source. Click OK. I sh you should name it, okay? And then I have rectangle jelly cam overlay. Boom. Make sure it's looped. Click OK. And of course, they don't match because I need to go back. Go back in. And now, there it is. All right, so I showed you how what you could do with a camera overlay, right? I showed you what you could do with a color correction filter is what I meant to say in the first place. I'm going to show you what you can do more since I provided like there's going to be two overlays or borders, if you will, that are included. They are gray right now. And maybe you don't like gray. Maybe gray doesn't match your personality. Well, you can just right click, go to filters, press plus, click color correction, click OK and play around with the settings. Now you're gonna play around some more, but right here there's color multiply and color add. Add is basically adding uh, um, lighter for brighter colors and then multiply is for darker colors, I believe. I don't remember. Just click on it, play around with it. Let's select it and let's go with uh, some sort of purple, for example. Boom, purple. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's purple now. Wow. Is that even purple or that, or is that pink? Anyways, you can play around with it. You don't like the brightness. You can lower it. You want it to be higher or to be wide. Bump up the brightness a little bit. Play with the contrast, the saturation, the hue shift, everything that you want. Actually, you added a color so you can't play with the hue shift. But this is it. This is it. This is the result that you could get. This could be you, but you're playing. 
Anyways, animated camera mask straight into OBS a studio without any plugins with some free samples and borders for free. Check the link in the description and let me know what you think. Another thing that I already know is that other streamers or other Twitch gurus have made labels that can like hide and show uh, at will, but they were using code. And again, we're trying to be lazy here. We're trying to not use any plugins. We're trying to come up with something that works on every single software. Um, oh, by the way, if you use Streamlabs OBS, it's literally the same steps. I don't need to show you how to add a filter. Right click, go to filters, uh, image mask, camera blend or whatever it's called. It's the same name. It's the same thing. Same steps what was i saying so yeah i wanted to make something that doesn't require any coding and any plugins that can be replicated in other broadcasting software so it would be accessible to all of you and hopefully i make that happen still if there's a obs plugin that does that let me know in the comment section below other than that you can go to gumroad.com get level if you're looking for some crazy cool overlays that you can use to make your twitch channel look good and if you're looking to create your own like gaming logo and make it animated and make it like super easy just type your name Pick your colors and boom, it's animated. Go to placeit.net with my discount code in the link in the description. I can't speak. With my discount code in the description, with the link basically, uh, you get 15% off. So check it out. And I gotta thank you for watching this video. Thank you so, so much. The support has been amazing lately. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to follow me on social. I started streaming on Twitch again. So please go follow me on Twitch. And I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level out.